I'm gonna pick up the camera again because we're heading back after feeding the cows down that way. And I noticed something out of the ordinary. And I think that one thing that um, ranchers have to be good at and is keeping an eye out, uh, out for things that are just, just a little off, things that are just a little weird. And so we're coming back. We actually found a calf over here that um, isn't getting up. It isn't coming back for food. So I am gonna go out here. We're gonna check this out. I wanna see what's going on with this calf. I get up here and I see that this calf has a completely shattered leg. You can see that leg is completely crushed. Oh man, that's not good. All right. Okay, that was a portion of the daily vlog, uh, weekly vlog, and I film it every day, uh, that we put together that comes out on Sunday morning. Now, the more I got to thinking about it, and I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna actually stop filming that and switch to filming a regular episode, which comes out on Wednesday. So that's where we are today. The calf is still out there in the field, the leg obviously is still broken, but we're gonna need a little bit of help in getting this whole problem fixed. So first of all, I'm gonna actually call Jeff, find out where he's at and see if he can come give us a hand. Hey Jeff, you got a radio on? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, we've got a calf out in the field with a broken leg. I'm gonna need you to get the 6410 and hook up the silver trailer to it. Uh, we're gonna go out and try to bring it back to the barn. So, uh, Jeff is gonna grab a tractor. He's gonna hook a stock trailer to that tractor. Now we could do it with a pickup, but there's a lot of snow and stuff out there. So a little worried about getting stuck and I'm not really sure how this calf is gonna react. Um, the calf obviously still has a little bit of spunk to it, still up and running around, which makes me think this injury is very recent, which is good for us because hopefully we can get it set. Um, now you think like, you know, with horses, they have broken legs, you take it out and shoot them, you know, that kind of thing never really done that. The way that I look at it is, first of all, that's a living animal out there. Um, and yes, the animal is eventually going to go to feedlots and slaughterhouses and eventually your plate. But the, the fact of the matter is that while they're under our care, our, our job is to take care of them. So letting it die or killing it or anything like that is pretty much out of the question. The other thing is, and this plays into it as well, is that calf is worth, could be worth $1,000 to the ranch. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have $1,000 that I can just throw away. And so that's another reason that we're gonna bring that calf in, we're gonna try to get it fixed up, and hopefully uh, still be worth something to the ranch, whether we keep it back as a steer or we end up selling it at auction. It's gonna take three to four weeks for that, that leg to heal, if it can heal at all, but if we don't try, We'll never know. So Jeff is going to run back and grab that trailer and it's going to take him a few minutes to get to get that ready and, and ready to go. We're going to gather up what we need to make this happen. So the trick is, I think what we're going to try to do is we're going to actually try to get a rope around the calf, hog tie it, and then get it pulled into the stock trailer. That's about the best option that I have. So we're going to need a rope, obviously. So we're going to take a rope that I happen to have over here with us on the four-wheeler, which is right here. And then I'm also going to grab a more flexible rope. This is a um, just a regular old braided uh, rope, and we're going to throw that on as well. Everything else we need, uh, we'll worry about once we get that calf back here to the barn. Um, obviously, it looks like an open wound, so we're going to have to uh, probably antibiotics uh, for the calf dressing for the wound and some sort of support or stabilization for that leg. It's a Saturday, so there isn't really calling a vet out, um, although I don't think there's a whole lot that a vet could really do for it uh, besides what we're gonna try to do. So 
we're gonna stabilize it. Uh, we're gonna try to build some sort of cast to be able to hold that thing together. And then we're actually gonna keep that calf in the barn in a small stable in order to, uh, to make sure it's not moving around and doing much. Now its mom is still out there also, but not too worried about that at this point because they are actually weaning off their calves anyway. So I'm sure that mom already knows that calf has a broken leg. Mom has probably already given up on it. There was no mom around it, nobody protecting that calf at all. So we are gonna become that calf's mom. We're gonna bring it in and we're gonna make sure that it has food and water and shelter and basically the best place to recuperate as possible where it doesn't have to move around as much and doesn't have to fight the snow. So we're gonna wait for Jeff to get that trailer and uh, the tractor all set up and uh, then we will We'll get out there and we'll see if we can rustle us up a calf. You know what, I'm gonna grab one other thing and that's our sled. Uh, so if we get that calf up on the, up, uh, you know, hog tied and then we can get on the sled, it'll make it a lot easier to move. So I'm gonna go grab that really quick. All right, so Jeff is up here with the trailer. We're gonna take the sled and throw it in the back of the trailer. Doesn't take both of us to haul a sled. All right, so Jeff is gonna throw that sled in and then I guess I'll still have to talk to him because I have to tell him what's going on, so. All right, so he's down, or he or she is down there by the land bridge. Okay. Um, so get somewhere close by, but not too close with this thing, because we don't want to scare him away too much. Okay. And then we're going to try to, I'm going to take the four-wheeler, try to get a rope on him, and then see what happens. Okay. So, and if we can get a rope and hogtied, then we'll throw him on the sled and pull him up in here. I'm pretty sure Jeff rolled his eyes when I said we're going to rope him and hogtie him. <laughs> so depending on when this calf was born, and I'm not exactly sure when, um, because I haven't looked it up, I'm guessing this calf probably weighs 300, 350 maybe, we'll see somewhere in there, um, which could make it a little interesting in actually getting into the trailer and holding on to, for that matter. So. We're gonna head down that way and see what we can find. The goal is to be able to use the trailer. That's the least intrusive way to do this. If we can get this calf on the trailer, it saves him a bunch of walking, just better in the long run. Now, if that doesn't work, we're probably gonna end up having to walk this calf in. So there's our problem calf, obviously up, moving around. This might get a little tricky. Make do with what you got, right? Okay, so we're not gonna be able to get very close to this calf without running it.
nice thing is the cap isn't moving very fast. So what I'm going to do is actually take one end of my lariat and I'm actually going to tie it off to the four-wheeler so I've got something to hold on to the calf once I get it. Roping off of a four-wheeler is always a trick because your throttle is on the right-hand side so it doesn't always work. So you end up trying to pretty much just like noose them almost. All right, sorry about that. We got her here though. Now, come here, come here. Okay, Jeff, I got her. You can come down this way. You're okay, girl. All right, we're waiting for Jeff to get down here with the tractor. I'm kind of thinking we might be able to load her up directly in the back if we can hold on to her with this leash, basically. Do you have enough slack if she lays down? She's not gonna choke herself out. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. You just have to go really easy with her on the way home. Can you help me get the four-wheeler unstuck? Okay guys, um, that was the vet. I just got off the phone with the vet. Um, I'm gonna warn you now, this is not good. This is going to end badly. And if you don't wanna watch the rest of this video, now is the time to duck out because it's only gonna get worse from here on out. Um, Jeff is actually gonna be bringing 
that heifer down here into uh, what we call our lower corral. And we're gonna get her out of the trailer. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that it was a compound fracture the first time I looked at her. And that compound fracture basically means that the bone is sticking all the way out. Um, the foot, basically what would be um, between your knee and your ankle is completely separated. The bone is shattered um, and crushed. There's really no way to put that back together. Um, even if I could get the bone back in and I could splint it, it would never heal back together. You can, you can see there's just, it's just hanging on by, by absolutely nothing. For those of you who wondered, when I talked to the vet, um, there was two choices. Uh, one was for me to keep it here and euthanize it, or to take it to the vet and euthanize it. So, limited choices there, but we're gonna take what is basically a bad situation, and I'm gonna try to turn it into um, a teachable moment. So, um, what we're gonna do, Take a look at her and see. Oh my gosh. There we go. See what she's up to in here. So there's that leg completely broken. Bone is sticking out at the bottom. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, stop. Stop it. Just relax. You're okay. You're not going anywhere. You can see the bone sticking out there at the bottom. So that bone is completely exposed. These kind of things happen, obviously. Being able to put down a cow and doing it humanely as possible is something that we have to learn um, very quickly and sometimes when you don't want to. It's not anything anybody wants to practice. So it's something you usually end up learning how to do um, as you go. So what we do is we work from the front of the cow and we go ear to eye, ear to eye. So if you draw a line from one ear to the opposite eye, so you go right ear to left eye, left ear to right eye, where those cross, that is where we would place the bullet. So I am going to grab a 3030, which is probably the best, in my opinion, uh, one of the best rifles to do this with. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big round and it doesn't have a whole lot of penetrating power so you don't have to worry about making a mess or anything like that and it does the job very, very efficiently. So I'm going to go get that and uh, we're going to take care of this. All right, so this is a 30-30 round. Like I said, it's a big bullet, does a lot of damage, and uh, it'll get the job done. This is hearing protection. If I can figure out which way they go. There we go. Okay, so ear to ear, eye to eye. and one of the most horrible parts of my job.
most days the ranch is really about life and death. And I hate days like this. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know if she fell or if another cow stepped on her or, or what happened, but that took that that accident took her down a road that that we can't fix, that the vet couldn't even fix. The vet said, if you bring her in, I'm gonna put her down. I honestly think there's something to be said about when you get news like that, that, that you take care of it. You're, every animal here is my responsibility. From life to death, or at least until they leave the ranch. For me, It means having to deal with things like this. That in my prior life, I would have said, nope. <laughs> I would have just noped out. Um, somebody has to do it. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. We're gonna clean her up and, and get her buried. And uh, we're gonna move on. You know, we lost one calf, but we've got you know, 100 calves, more than 100 calves out there that do require our care every single day. So, kind of a crappy end, I know it. And if you made it this far with us, thank you very much for, uh, for being a part of what we do. We say explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Today I wish, I kind of wish I could escape the ranch life, really, but that's just how it is, so. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on our Wyoming Life.